Hi and welcome to the documentary display for learning course. Over the next two to three weeks, we'll be learning about the principles and techniques behind this style of display. But let's start today with a short overview of exactly what a documentary display is. In documentary display, a child's work is the centerpiece of a display, displayed in a way that shows the value of each child's contribution to the classroom. But it's not displayed alone, it's displayed together with photos, which might show the processes that the child went through to create the piece of work. It might show models or other types of artwork that cannot be saved for posterity. It might be photos that focus in on the expression, the concentration, the way in which child works with others in creating that experience. Alongside these photos and alongside the child's artwork, also a documentary display includes written evidence of what was happening during the learning process. So this can be notes, annotations and quotes from the children themselves telling us a little bit more about the story of how the work was produced. What were the children's ideas? What were they exploring? And what were they thinking at the time that they created the work? How did the child work? And those little things that as a teacher that we notice, how they grip the paintbrush, whether they're able to sit alongside another, all these hidden things that you don't see just from the end artwork can be written down, can be saved and can be presented as being really an important part of learning, an important part of what's going on in the classroom. Why do I recommend these techniques of documentary display? Why are they useful? Really they recognize the effort of the learning process. That learning is not about the end result. This is something that's obvious to us perhaps as teachers but it's conveying to children as well that they're developing thoughts and ideas and the processes that they go through as they learn are really important and that they're valued by us. Documentary display uses a lot of ideas about expressing children's own thoughts and voice through their work. And this really conveys to children as well the place, the value that they have in the classroom. That we're not expecting every child to produce an identical artwork to our template, but that we value what they are trying to produce and the ideas that they are expressing in their own way on paper. And the fact that we as adults can use photographic evidence, technological evidence, note taking to make clear to a wider audience just what the child is trying to express, albeit in their own developmental style. Another important aspect of documentary display is that it stimulates further discussion and exploration of ideas. Children love to see photos of themselves, they love to see their own work and they love to see that of friends and it's a really great starting point for discussing the differences between children's work, the differences between their approaches to the work by reading back to them the quotes and ideas that they had earlier it's often a great starting point for jogging their thoughts and maybe creating the next inspiration, the next learning moment. Documentary display also plays a huge role in parental involvement and homeschool dialogue. A lot of what happens in schools can be opaque to parents and as much as they love to come in and see a shiny hall display with 10 pairs of identical handprints, it's much, much more valuable to parents to be able to get a snapshot of just how that came about and what processes their child was going through at school that day. What, what was their experience of creating this? How were they feeling at the time? Are they enjoying painting? These are the things that we can get across through using photographs and note taking alongside the children's work to create a much richer picture. So where do I start with documentary display? If I want to start out in using these techniques, what are the first steps that you can start to take? Um, first off, I would say take photos of children engaged in their projects. Um, photos that show their faces, that show their concentration or their emotion as they work. Photos that show their technique, that show pencil grip. Uh, Photos that show whether they can work alongside others, whether this is a group endeavour, get a much, much richer, wider understanding of what's happening in that, that artwork or that project. 
get into a habit of writing quotes from the children, transcripts of their conversations with their friends, and descriptions of their actions. So you might decide for a particular project that you're going to focus on social skills in, a, in building a, a tower together in pairs. It's a, it's a great place to start when you're new to this to have a focus as to what is it that you're going to be looking at, what is it that you're going to be taking notes on. But at other times, they're just going to surprise you. They're just one little child is going to turn to their friend and make a comment, you know, oh, I put my red handprints in the yellow paint and now it's orange. And you just think, this is something worth taking note of. This is new for this child. So use your teacher's gut instincts, but it's really about those notes and observations that we make every day, making those visible to the children, making those visible perhaps to parents and to our whole learning community, because everybody benefits from, from seeing these and from being part of that story. The third tip I would say for getting started is keep first drafts. Scan or photograph work as it's progressing. It's great to have the history of an artwork or a model or an investigation so you can see step by step the steps that the child went through um, on that journey. And the final step for documentary display really draws on the Reggio Emilio style um, and that is to avoid fussy borders, bright backing papers, anything that detracts from the impact of the children's work and ideas. Central to a documentary display should be the child's ideas, the child's learning and their thinking, wherever possible, communicated in their own voice. Whether that's their quotes that you've written down, their literal voice, whether that's their work and how they have chosen to express themselves and their ideas, whether that's your annotations on the story and the changes of their work as it progressed, and whether that's the photographs that show the feeling and the intent behind the creation of a work. So I hope that's given you a little bit of an insight into just a very brief overview of documentary display. And we're going to be delving down further into these issues over the next 